sexy love. My no my. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't even realise you were there. Uh, I just uh, popped out to go and see to the dog, and I have this. This is. There's the dog still going. He's a little crazy because this has just arrived and the postman kind of triggers him. Um, this, to my knowledge, I don't know of anywhere else, is the first virtual reality magazine. Um, I've, I've not bought a magazine in a long, long time. Um, anybody who's sort of un under the, the, the age of... Wait, no. Anybody who's over the age of, like, 25, 27 might want to just step out for two minutes while I explain to children what magazines are. So, when I was a kid, um, we used to get these things called magazines. They're like websites that have been printed on very nice paper. And uh, rather than, you know, watching the latest E3 announcement live streamed on Twitch or whatever the hell it was we used to have to wait for somebody to send another human being to these shows to then report back and put it inside of the the web page that has been printed this is um this is absolutely astonishing this is beautiful paper they've they've done a really great job i mean there's and oh there's a full page population one on the back um yeah, they've done a really great job. So it's currently available. Oh, we've got a page falling out. I mean, you know, what what are you going to do? Uh, it's a perk of a magazine. You know, you could always take out a page and post it up on your wall if you wanted to. Uh, but yeah, so this is, this is how we used to get our gaming or our media before the internet. And it's just a beautiful thing. It truly is. It's absolutely stunning. Um, as I mentioned, they're available on Patreon now. Basically, they put out a magazine every two months. Loads of information for the virtual reality world. So, I've had a digital copy, which you can actually get a digital copy. You can back for less and just get a digital version, and that's perfectly fine as well. Uh, but I've had a digital copy for a while, and I just didn't want to read it because I wanted to sit down and read this magazine such a stunning piece of artwork on the inside which I believe is now available on t-shirts and stuff too so I mean I'll put it up to that camera there because I, I quite like that camera as crappy as it is um, so this is VR trend um, the the latest in greatest in virtual reality information I just liked having a tangible item in my hand I might go and take a dump in a minute uh, so yeah, this is this is the very first ever issue of the very first ever virtual reality magazine, VR Trend. Uh, let's have a look at this front page because it's like an intro. The idea is simple, bring the nostalgia we have for old school gaming magazines to the virtual world. We love VR, we want to help it grow and take form in all of the uh, entrancing moments that have captured our hearts and spirit. Help it navigate and keep expanding universe of popularity. Something corporeal you could hold in your hands that represents the unbelievable magical world of virtual reality has brought to us. To encapsulate the Im immaterial joy of strapping on a headset and escaping to your favourite game, our mission is to archive and exhibit all of the neat things happening in virtual reality. Thanks for being part of the journey. So, there we are. We've got a table of contents. And it's got fantastic things in here, such as Community Battle Stations, Art Showcase with Matthew Spendlove. Uh, from a developer's perspective, you see, that's something that you don't get in, in uh, 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 websites. Everybody's, like, gunning for the clickbait that everybody's afraid of, like, talking to people anymore. Whereas in a magazine, you know, you just have to do what you can do and let it live on its own like there's no retraction well i mean you can print a retraction afterwards but like there's no crazy stuff like it, a magazine is just wholesome to me um got stuff about the vr master league socializing in virtual reality q a with the developer of smash drums a really dope looking game on oculus quest i believe 
Uh, top 10 VR horror games. Of course, this was the October issue, so, you know, horror is on the, on the mind. Uh, Operator Spotlight, Comic Corner, Gaming Spotlight, Elysia. First impressions on Lo-Fi. That does certainly explain the cover with the giant word lo-fi on there probably should have spotted that sooner vr esports and population one will take gaming to new heights we've got bits about sushi ben vr what the flying duck is sushi ben vr i've never heard of this see that's the beauty of this as well the fact that it spotlights things that maybe didn't make it into um your wheelhouse into your thoughts jesus so the community battle stations that is basically people um showing off the place they record vr i guess where they play vr uh there's one person that's basically just got like a freaking warehouse and oh marcus marcus is a friend of the channel um that is a beast of a seat that he's got there uh we used to play quite a bit with marcus way back in the day but then he got a job well he basically had issues with his job uh and had to spend a bunch of time where he was just not available uh he stepped away from vr for a little while but i believe he's back and up and running so you should definitely check him out uh, a little bit of a piece here on the starcade arcade um stuff that they're doing on there Space Slurpees coming soon to Oculus, Steam, and Viveport. See, that's the other thing. So, advertising, you would have to sell advertising in the magazine to um, boost the, the the sale, to, to get more funds, basically. Um, and they, they can sometimes be the better part of things. VR Multiplayer Showcase, Real Fishing VR. That game is absolutely dope. Like, I'm not the guy who will go and sit at a riverbank um all the time but i i never realized how much i wanted a vr fishing game until i played that game phantom covert also got a review by don hopper aka vr gamer dude uh he's a great great content creator he's got some fantastic stuff on his channel including the your chair uh, which i'm very very jealous of because i want to play racing games in that however i'm also very very fat and i fear i would destroy it on the first time i used it uh, Sushi Ben VR. So that's the game I was. I had no idea about. I have no idea about it still. But as I say, I'm gonna take this to my um, crap palace and um, yeah, just have a read up about all this cool stuff. I used to get a Nintendo official magazine and read that from cover to cover because, like I say, that was the only way to get gaming information. Rainbow Reactor. I own that game. I should play that game. I'm definitely going to play that game. They sent me it to actually get my wife into, but um, fuck her, I want to play it. Uh, what else we got? VRML. I've, I mean, as you can tell, I've actually participated in a VRML um, tournament. It didn't go well, but I had fun, and to me, that's the reason I said yes. Uh, can socializing in VR be as good as in real life? Something very, very relevant to today's um, world. This is... I mean, these magazines are basically stapled, and it looks like it's either ripped through the staple or it's maybe just um, come undone. So I'll, I'll I'll address that later on. Top ten VR horror games. What would you say your top ten VR horror game is? Let me know if you um, have a favorite and if you agree with these. So I don't know who put this list together, but number ten is Duck Season. Yeah, I kind of agree with that one. Affected the Manor, The Exorcist, Saints and Sinners. Not played enough of that. Did try it recently in the Cyber Shoes on the Quest and thought it was dope. So I'm going to be go back and finish that one. Five Nights at Freddy's. I refuse to play that in VR because it's just toxic as hell. Like I just don't need the jump scares in my life. Paranormal Activity. We did play that one uh, last month. Played that one from start to finish. Um. Yeah, very, very spoopy. Uh, Phasmophobia, I've played that with the VR Souls. Resident Evil 7. Oh, I got so far into that game and then my PlayStation crapped the bed. I lost my save game, but I want to go back to that now. I've got the PS5. The power of the PS5 behind it will make that very, very interesting. Uh, virtual Insanity. Is this real life or is this just fantasy? Mm, caught in a landslide. No escape from reality. Uh, what we got QA with the developer of Smash Drums, so that's going to be a very interesting read. Asking the hard-hitting questions like, what were some specific game design problems that you've had to figure out, or how's the game changed from its original design? Uh, what else we got? VR Operator Spotlight DNA VR. 
Springboard VR highlights DNA VR, one of London's top performing arcades. How this year has gone for them and some of the tactics they've used to be successful and provide next level VR experience for their customers. See, I was curious as to how VR arcades are getting on in the current climate, what with COVID. Um, because, I mean, there's going to be a lot of people that just doesn't want to put their face anywhere near something that somebody's just put their face in. Uh, not to mention the fact that you just flat out can't go anywhere. So, support your local VR arcade is what I'm saying. I certainly am, uh, in any which way I can. And I am very happy to get back in there. I actually bought gift cards to one of my local VR arcades, just, you know, so they've got the money um and then you know i can give those away to family and friends and be like go play vr because you can't do it in my house comic corner by faulty muppet oh i should be wearing a faulty t-shirt for this i'm sorry faulty <laughs> uh but yeah we've got some cool little comics from faulty here um if there is anything faulty is always very accommodating do you have a comic that you'd like to submit? Email us, info at vrtrendmagazine.com. There you go. If you're a budding artist and you want to get your work featured, bob that into them, and uh, maybe you will be in here next week. Next week, next month, next two months. I don't know when they're coming out. Game Spotlight's Blast On. Um, not played that one. After the Fall, that game has been developed now. Uh, developed. It's been delayed now. It's Vertigo Games, the people who made... Uh, Arizona Sunshine, they're, they've got a new four-player co-op shooty-shooty game coming out and looks dope and I can't wait to play it and apparently they're going to give us beta access because I was featured in one of their anniversary videos for Arizona Sunshine. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Elysia, was this a Kickstarter recently? Sounds very familiar. Looks nice, but then again there are a lot of games that look similar. Lo-Fi! Now, this game just looks absolutely ridiculous. It's mental what this game looks like. However, I refuse to play it. So I've had access to Lo-Fi for months. I've alpha build access. Um, but I don't want to play an alpha. I want to play this game when they're done. And so I'm just like, oh, I know that pretty face right there. Um, yeah, I want to play Lo-Fi when it's finished. Everybody say hi to Vivian. So what's this? VR Esports, the future of competitive gaming. All oh, right, so this is the article about Esports. It's written by Vivian herself. You can always check her out at the Hive or on Twitter. She's a member of the Kilettos. The fuck? All of your greatest VR hits only in one Collie cover... Oh, Collie... Coleco... They've gone for the old school ColecoVision as a virtual reality headset. That I actually genuinely thought that was a product for a minute there. <laughs> That's crazy. So the, the, this is a parody advertisement created. Right, okay, yeah. So it's not an actual product. Um, That's actually pretty cool. Uh, information about Population 1 from Sonya. See, all these names, man. All these great people in virtual reality. And they're all, you know, they all want to see this thing become a regular occurrence. And so do I, which is why I'm sat here talking shit to you. Wow, she went on about this game. She really digs this game. And rightly so. It's pretty dope. And we've got links to subreddits and Discord and Population 1's Twitter. Conclusion, Population 1 is set an incredibly high bar for Battle Royale games. Not just in VR, but in real and in, in, in everything. So, yeah. That is that is VR Trend Magazine in a nutshell. Go hop on to Patreon. You may even be able to... Um, I saw them on... Uh, Christ. I saw them on GT's podcast. That's where it was. Um, I saw them on the VR link. Uh, they were basically saying that whilst issue one is no longer available, like, you know, we backed this, so we got this. They are looking at trying to reprint um, more of these once they get a big order come through. So they 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 had a situation where they had 10 magazines that they were shipping out, but then it turns out they only actually had eight. And it cost them $23 to get a $3 magazine printed 
um, to get those other two copies. So it's not cheap printing these in small amounts, but when they have enough demand, they are going to print more issue ones. So if you want to get yourself issue one, get yourself into the Patreon, get into the conversation, let them know that v issue one is something that is needed. And then if they get a big print going, they might just slide a couple of these in with it as well. And you'll be able to get yourself this issue numero uno of the VR Trend magazine. I realize that that camera's actually reversed, so I'll bob you over to, to this one here. VR Trend magazine, available on Patreon now. I will slap a link right down below. Thank you very much for watching this. Hopefully you've enjoyed my quick brief flick through VR Trend and I haven't spoiled too much. And I say, if you don't want to go for a physical copy, there is always a digital copy that is sent out with it as well. So I have a digital copy as well. Um, you can just watch it, watch it, view it, read it on your favorite, you know, Kindle, phone, however you prefer to take in media. You can do that. VR Trend. Check it out. Fantastic. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, I haven't been paid for this. I am just a massive fan. Like, VR makes dreams come true every day. So, why not this one? I wanted to support, and I am. Um, yeah. But that's going to do it. Thank you very much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, let me know if this is something that you're into. Do you remember magazines? Are you nostalgic about your old school PlayStation magazine with a little demo on the front and stuff like that? Let me know in the comments. But until then, the Doctor is out.